Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I made this beautiful fall DIY for my porch. Stay tuned. Okay, here are the items that I have. This is a bucket I got from Dollar Tree. And this is some fall garland from Walmart. And all the items will be listed below in the description box. And then I got these three uh, bucket pumpkins. And what I did, I took some heavy duty scissors and cut off the handles. And then you want to remove the stickers and price tags from the bottom as well. And this is kind of how we're going to do it. Get a little spray paint and see how that looks. I use rustic orange and colonial red to give it that fall flare. Excuse my scarf, I did not want to get spray paint in my hair. And once you get that first coat on, you want to let that dry for about 10 minutes and then come back with this clear gloss spray paint. And I let that dry for about 15, 20 minutes outside while I came inside and worked on getting this bucket done. And with this, I really was trying to wrap it around one to hide the handles on the side. And then I didn't decide if I wanted to do one or two garlands and fill the bucket up, let's see. And after I glued the first piece down, I kind of just randomly glued different pieces, pieces of the branches to keep it secure.
And for some reason, when I glued this last end piece, it did not want to stay down. I went over it a couple different times with the glue gun and it just would not stay attached. The glue was kind of running and it just wasn't sticking. I don't know if it was because of the plastic bucket, if the glue was too hot, not sure. But I went over it a few times and then eventually I glued down the leaf on top of the plastic piece to keep it in place so that the glue had a chance to dry. So once I got to this point, I decided that the one garland was enough. Putting the second one on there would just be too much. Next, I cut out the words with my Silhouette Cameo, and here I'm just weeding out the vinyl so that I can get ready and put it on the pumpkin.
And this is my transfer tape. I have a scraper and I just use this to pick up the words from the vinyl sheet and then place it on the pumpkin. And because the pumpkin is not flat, you do want to make sure that you press it down really good and get in between the curves so that it lays flat. And then as you see, when I peeled it off, I got a little bit of that orange paint. So I will touch that up later. And then you just repeat that process with, with each pumpkin. So to clean up those two pumpkins where I peeled the paint off a little bit, what I did is I just got a piece of parchment paper and put it over a paper plate and used the spray paint and sprayed it directly on the parchment paper. Got a small paintbrush and kind of filled in those spots. And once it dries, it'll dry back to that original color. So here's where I assembled them all together. I used just a little bit of hot glue because I first wanted to get it on there and see how it would look. I wasn't sure if I was gonna keep this permanently or not, but if you are planning on keeping it permanently, you can use a more heavy duty adhesive like E6000. I also would suggest putting some marbles or something in there heavy so that once you put it on your porch, it doesn't blow over with high winds or anything. So let me know your thoughts, comment below, and subscribe to my channel.